guys welcome back to my channel today i have for you very quick super fun tutorial on how to create a stop motion pictures so i have all these images here that i took of balance me skincare first i laid everything out down as a flat lay i make sure the light's perfect i had my camera on a tripod that's very important and then i just slowly took one piece at the time <laughs> I took them away until I got completely clean backdrop and we'll put all these together for a little fun stop motion so what I have to do because I'm in a capture one right now uh, I have to go and open these in Photoshop and we'll go from there once everything opens up in Photoshop you see it's going to be all on the separate images so we need to put them all on one picture so I'm gonna uh, use the blue as my background and first I'm gonna click on this grab the background layer and place it over here you have to hold shift as you let go of your mouse that will place it um, completely as it should be so I can close this one and now just do this with every single image I mean I have 16 images so this is gonna take a little while let me fast forward <laughs> and I'll be back okay now everything is under one picture on all the different layers now we need to make sure those products are not moving around so I see there's a little movement of the whole picture shifted a little bit even though I have my camera on the tripod there still might happen something like this so we need to align all these layers and a very easy and simple way how we can do it is we have to first unlock the background layer so it will become a layer zero and we have 15 plus zero so 16 layers here now we have to select all of them and we will use a very simple align tool that comes from photoshop so you don't have to do this manually you can just select all the layers go to edit and auto align layers hit that we can stay on the auto settings and hit ok and photoshop will do the magic for us so it will align all those layers uh, you will may need to crop a little bit afterwards around the edges because you know pictures will be moving a little bit just to make sure they are completely perfectly straight on one on top of another okay now that's done they all stayed on separate layers but they should be now without any movement see now that's much better if i zoom in a little bit uh, you will see that we have a little gray areas here so we'll need to crop the image a little bit and now we can create our stop motion so what we have to do is go to window and timeline and let's go for create frame animation there is option create video timeline or frame animation so we want the frame animation here and let me actually put this somewhere here so we can see what's going on and i will go create frame animation first one will be the image that is last on the layer panel here but i want the first one to be the one that is just a blue background so i have to unclick all these until i get to the end here we go so I'll actually start with this one uh, little product here I'll make this to be 0.2 seconds and then I will hit this plus icon that will create a new frame and I'll just um, unhide layer 2 and another one unhide layer 3 and we go until we have all the pictures all the products back in the picture so create a new frame unhide create a new frame and hide and let's just repeat these very simple steps okay and I want this to be going on a loop so I will create one more and I will just go backwards so I will hide this layer one more frame and hide this so it will kind of just create a loop of the products popping in and then disappearing again and this time we will finish on a clean blue backdrop now we hit play see how that works amazing I love it 
Okay, now we want to make it a little bit smaller so it's website friendly. So we'll go to image, image size and bring this down to 1500. That will work. Let's hit OK. Now that size down, we can go to file, export and save for web. And we will make sure we are on GIF or GIF. Let the Photoshop do its magic. And we can zoom out slightly and let's hit play just before we save it. Let's make sure it all works. Beautiful. Hitting stop and then clicking save. Save it whenever you feel like it. It has to be GIF on the end. Hitting save and that will create the GIF or stop motion image that you can now put on your website or Instagram or anywhere and it will be always playing forever on a loop like you set it up. Alternatively, for easier use, you can go to File, Export and Render Video and I will create an MP4 video for you that you can upload directly to Instagram as well. But for websites, GIF are the way to go. Thank you for watching. See you next time.